Hey guys, so I have a shit ton of things to cover, so I will start because I have a feeling that this video is going to be super long because I just can't, I can never shut up. Like I just start talking and I keep going and going and going, so it is what it is. Uh, I've decided to just stop monthly favorites. I think they can be a little bit redundant and then you're like scrambling around looking for like oh what did I use this month when I am testing out so many damn products so I figured every now and again I do like a currently loving beauty fashion like just little bits you know it seems much more natural that way to me less work more fun more talk more like in the moment trying new things these are my thoughts as of late uh if you can tell my face looks a little like blotchy that is because i have been doing some at home treatments which is really nice uh it'll be i think it's gonna be my next video so stay tuned for it to find out what i've been doing to get my skin just looking like this. I have a little bit of concealer on some hyperpigmentation areas and some blush, highlight, and I think that's it. And then of course I just have some brow gel and some gloss on my eyes, but other than that, other than lip balm, like I have no base on, no foundation, no heavy concealing, no powder. This is just my skin as is. I'm trying to let it breathe. I'm trying to let it. I don't know if it's because I'm about to turn. I'm closer to 30. I'll be 29 this year. So my skin is just acting out and just going nuts. I'm getting a lot of like hormonal cystic acne. But these at home treatments today was my fourth treatment. I won't tease you guys too much. But anyway, today was my fourth treatment. And I wanted to give it a full four weeks before I spoke about it to see if I even thought it was worth it but it's working wonders for my skin so as of late i don't know why i've been on this like huge organic natural skincare and makeup kick i don't think that i would ever fully convert to just using organic makeup or just natural makeup but i definitely have now incorporated it into my routine and I've seen a tremendous difference and my skin is just really loving it. So uh, I've just been on the search for different things, different brands, uh, different sites. And uh, I thought I'd talk to you guys about a few items that I've been trying. So um, first brand is this brand called Noto, I think it's called Noto Botanicals. Yeah, that's what it is. And this is their Hydra Highlight face and body and it's in this tiny little tube stick but it has a ton of oils in it. it smells lovely like I just I love it I love it I love the whole concept the whole twisting up little stick it's very discreet but it's if you really like glowy skin or if you like the halo scope highlighters from Glossier you definitely love this and I believe they do a balm and then they do a golden kind of highlight, like a really stark highlight, um, which I've already placed orders for because I'm so happy with this. But there is this website called The Stell and I'm obsessed with their things or their, all the items that they carry. So um, I will actually leave a blog post. Today's blog post is all about just natural organic beauty and I'm listing a couple of stores and websites that I think you should check out and uh, brands that I've been trying and things that I've been loving and things that I would like to purchase. So um, if you're interested in having a read, I'll leave it down below. Another brand that I have recently been trying that sent some stuff over is this Palermo brand. The packaging, the, the smells, everything looks so good. And I am obsessed with her hydrating facial toner with rose water, chamomile, aloe, and witch hazel. <laughs> it has all of this, but it leaves my skin feeling so glowy and dewy. I've been taking this thing with me to work. It has witch hazel, which is good for like breakouts. So I don't feel like I'm clogging my pores with anything. 
And then uh, this hydrating body oil, which has geranium, I don't know if it's ylang ylang, with rose hip and sweet almond oils. I am a almond oil lover. You guys know I love the uh, L'Occitane, what is it, the shower oil? I love that stuff. And I also have the body oil as well. But this stuff I've been using, and I love the fact that they thought this out. It has this like texturized surface here on the dispenser. So say you have oil all over your hands, your finger can still grip, you know, the top of this to put it on and it doesn't spray on, it just squirts out and you just rub it in after. I like to use this after I bathe uh, while my skin is still a little damp. All of her stuff is made in Brooklyn. It's just such a good brand. Next brand is this, it's by the name of Uma, and this is their Absolute Anti-Aging Eye Oil. Now, this I have been using for a whole month straight because I've never seen eye oils. I've seen eye serums, eye gels, eye creams, but never a proper oil, and you literally all you have to do, like you don't even have to squirt the pipette. I literally take the, the tip of it and just dab it here, dab it here, and that is more than enough to, you know, hydrate that under eye area. And I try to be really careful because I still have um, eyelash extensions. I told you, I will never stop putting them on, I think. But uh, you don't want to get oils and stuff like that into them because it just breaks down the glue. But this has just helped with fine lines underneath like where my um, lower lashes are. It's just definitely more hydrating. It isn't heavy. I wear this under concealer and, um, or not necessarily concealer because I'm, I'm at the point where I don't really care if a little bit of dark circles show through. I'm more of like using those light like the Touche Claw pen or something like that, uh, the Glossier concealer, the stretch concealer, it's so hydrating and lightweight, it's not heavy at all. The RMS one uh, concealer is really good. So I'm not too concerned with piling on concealer. Yeah, with this, it just, it, it all looks so seamless and you would think it'd be a mess because it's an oil, but it really isn't. So I'm really happy with this. Oh, another brand that I've been trying, Herbivore. So good. They sent me a ton of stuff and I can't even begin to tell you like what I like the most because all of it's so good. I have been using this Lapis face oil. Uh, now this is for like acne prone skin, uh, blemishes and stuff like that. It's super hydrating. I love the blue color of it, but I use this more so at night. Sometimes I even use this under makeup again. I don't mind the oils. I think a little goes a long way when it comes to stuff like this. And their rose hibiscus oil, or not oil, face mist. <laughs> um, this stuff, oh, it's a coconut water hydrating face mist. Again, super hydrating. I am like the face mist person. Ask me about any type of face mist and I guarantee you I have sprayed it either in store or I own it. I don't know what it is about them. I don't know why I'm so obsessed. Okay, another brand that I think is pretty cool, not necessarily beauty, but I didn't know really where to fit this, but there is a brand, a candle brand, a new candle brand that I've been trying. Um, by the name of Overose, and these candles are made in Paris, and you can get them on the Stell. You can also get them on my girl Chelsea's uh, website, what is it, in her store, um, Shop Anomi. I know she sells them as well, but I have Nymphalia, which I hope I'm pronouncing that right, mm. and then this Valkyria. I think it is, but this one is like tobacco, peach, and oh, what else notes does it have? I think it's like white rose or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I will list details on them below, but they make me think of the Byredo candles. But I just love that the wax is this pink. The whole jar is pink. Like, oh, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous candles. And the smell of this these candles lingers 
so much even when it's just sitting out like right now I can you don't even have to light it okay let's see some more skincare bits this video is all over the place I told you I have so much crap here uh, this Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiance Serum this is a new release they did send me this along with an overnight cream that I've been using but I have been using this morning and night as you can see I have this much I've already used this much of it but it is so good it is definitely radiance boosting uh, I will list all of the ingredients down below I'm not a hundred percent sure what's in it I'm a huge fan I'm wearing this as a base now just because I'm not wearing makeup and I just want my skin to breathe but to me it's very radiance boosting it's just very hydrating it's very thin uh, it doesn't feel sticky or tacky at all so it's perfect for both morning and night I put it underneath makeup and have no issues with it a combo that I have been using when it comes to bases is a few drops of my Glossier Skin Tint along with the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation and it has an SPF of 20. I'm in the shade 43 Honey. Now the reason why I mix the two is because I feel like this on its own it's not heavy but this sort of dilutes it a little bit and I get a sheer enough coverage that I'm, I'm happy with it and I still feel like my skin can breathe. I have been using the two of these for like the past three weeks and I'm a huge fan. This might be my, if I can mix these two together, that would be perfect. Uh, but even this on its own, the La Mer foundation, it's still a beautiful foundation. Underneath this, I, okay, so I go in with this Vino Serum first then I will moisturize and then as a, a primer and an SPF, cause that's what I feel like this is. It's so good. Uh, I've already, I already have a backup and I think I'm gonna order another one just so that I have this at all times. I feel like people either hate Glossier or love Glossier, but I think it's all predicated on the type of makeup you wear. Like I, I don't mind blemishes and spots and circles showing through but I know some women really really like a heavy full-on look and I don't think that this it's not what the brand caters to uh, so you either love it or you hate it and I'm a huge fan I think it represents everything that I stand for this SPF is so good and it honestly acts like a primer as well I usually use the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. Haven't touched it at all, haven't needed to. I put this over top of my moisturizer and it is so hydrating. It isn't st sticky or tacky. It's not your typical SPF. I don't know how they figured out this formula, but it is beyond, like I'm so happy with this. So I use this as a primer slash my SPF for every day, obviously, and then I go in with these two. And then Four Cheeks, which is currently back in stock, uh, Glossier's Cloud Paint and Beam. I've been really into the whole sun-kissed look. It's starting to get warmer out, uh, so any type of like berry or cherry or peach I'm a huge fan of. This is a true peach. I have it on my cheeks right now. It just gives this really pretty glossy sheen to the skin. Nice, healthy, flushed glow, beam and topaz. So I'll take a little bit of beam, put it on the back of my hand. I'll take topaz and kind of like rub it until it's like nice and warm and kind of mix the two. So I get this nice, pretty, bronzy peachy sheen which is what I have on today I also put a little bit on the bridge of my nose of the blush and the highlighter and kind of run it just out to here and it almost gives you that look that you've been sitting in the sun but you really haven't and you have that little sunburn kind of look now what else got so much crap here guys I told you this is gonna be a long one uh the Glossier Generation G lipsticks I've gotten back into these as of late, especially in my last video, I had that like stained, just bitten messy look. I've been using jam a lot for that. 
So I'll just put a little bit on the center and just kind of smush it in all messy or take a Q-tip and kind of clean it up a little bit. But I even overdraw a little on my Cupid's bow or um, rubbing a little bit of lipstick on. This is the Tom Ford Ruby Rush matte lipstick and this is just a matte red but I've been taking like my finger and kind of dabbing it on as well or just pushing it on and then smushing it making a mess it almost looks like you were making out for like hours this scent by Cartier they sent I cannot pronounce it because again I don't speak French but here is the name I will put it on the screen right here I, it is beautiful first of all look how this thing opens it makes me think of like an old school lighter it is literally the most beautiful perfume that I own it's so freaking fancy but it opens like that it's magnetic um, and I'm not one into like powdery florals but that's what this is and it's not overwhelming it's not old ladyish um, it's just real soft and feminine and normally I'm drawn to like things that smell <laughs> smell like wood or you know a man I like more of a masculine scent like bergamot and sandalwood and um, what is it patchouli I like things like that but this is the complete opposite and it smells so lovely Another thing which is kind of a I think this is a vegan brand and it is milk makeup and this is their eye vinyl in the shade bridge they have two other shades so it's three total this is what I'm wearing on my eyelids and it's like this peachy flesh tone kind of color they have a iridescent purpley white one and then one with like bluer tones to it I think or maybe it's pink if you're looking for something to slather on your eyelids try that and I think I've told you guys about this but this is another brand uh drunk elephant this lippy balm this is literally the best lip balm I have ever tried hands down better than the by Terry Balm de Rose better than any lip balm anything anything that I've ever tried it is this I'm almost out of it like this is all I have left I am done holy cow I told you this is gonna be a really long video so make sure you got a snack I should have told you that in the beginning oh well uh, if I had to choose favorites like hands down uh, would be the Glossier sunscreen this caudalie serum this is a really good one and i would pick the palermo facial mist so yeah next video stay tuned so we can talk all about skincare again and these treatments that i've been doing at home and yeah i will see you guys in the next one